alla hringinn og yfir í sko Þorbjörn þarna hitt. Ég hef þá þetta hitt að vera bara allt upp og sá það var ekki. One of the operations that we were in, we were uh, building a new road on top of a, a quite new uh, lava and uh, we were building new hot water pipe uh, uh, 600 meter long across, uh, across, the, across the lava. Uh, we completed that yesterday and uh, are now started to, uh, started to deliver hot water uh, to the communities again. The hot water is quite important for all, all district heating as, as the, in, in the middle of the winter. Uh, so uh, it's uh, very important to keep a constant flow of that resource. There has been, you know, uh, around 50 people working every shift here, around 100 people uh, in hold. So a lot of people have been here during the last uh, days and nights. So they have been doing an amazing job in really ensuring hot water and heating to the whole of the Reykjavik Peninsula, which is about 30,000 people. So uh, they have been doing a great job, but we need to think about the future. We have been using this area uh, for geothermal heating and electricity production here for decades. Uh, with the whole area being so uh, eruptive, we need to really uh, map out how we see the next years and decades. Uh, but I also think I've been meeting a, a lot of people here in the towns in Reykjanes Peninsula and they have been amazingly, how shall I put it, calm, positive and resilient. <laughs> Actually the hot water is now being tapped on, so hopefully they will all feel warm tonight, but I think it was a difficult weekend and also because of the uncertainty. We all, we thought we would be able to uh, fix this very soon on Friday night. That did not work out. So I think that was quite a shock for a lot of people. But they, as I said, they were all very calm and collected during this. <laughs> 